Hi everyone. So it's been quite some time that I made a video because of which there was so much inertia that I had to really push myself to create this one. But then I thought if I start off with a shorter one, which talks about a fairly intuitive topic, then it might make more sense and, you know, get me started and also give you guys a ground to ask questions in the comment section. So, which is why I thought of this topic, which is how to revise for the CAT exam and specifically the CON section. Why not the other two sections? Because those two sections require a certain bent of mind, which gets developed the more you practice questions. But when it comes to cons, the more you revise the formulas and concepts, the better you get at using them during the exam because they resurface again and again in your mind. So there are two parts to this. First is what is all that that you should be revising? And second, how often should you be revising them? Now, when it comes to the first part, there were two kinds of books that I used. First is a formula book and second is a golden book. I've mentioned about these in another video that a lot of you might have watched. But to give you a summary, a formula book contains the important concepts, formulas, tricks, shortcuts, or even questions that you come across and you feel like you need to remember them before taking the final exam. And a golden book contains things that make your calculation faster. For example, factorial, squares, cubes, or anything like that. Now, I have shared a link to both the formula book and the golden book in the description of this video. I have also linked Arun Sharma's formula book for your reference that we got in a barter a couple of months back. So go through these and you will get an idea of how these books are to be created. But for those of you who have, let's say, started their preparation and you're just realizing that a formula book needs to be created for the chapters that you might have covered already, just revisit the book open the chapter, read the theory, there might be some formulas that you can simply spot and note them down. After that, leave some blank pages. So when you come across more tricks during the mocks, that's when you can fill in those pages and note down all the tricks in there. There's nothing to worry about. The only thing you need to do is to create a repository of formulas and tricks that you're coming across. So this is how you create these books. The second part of this video talks about how often are you supposed to revise them. I remember that I used to carry the golden book with me all the time. And even while I was going to the coaching center, I would just simply take it out and start revising the topics. There's not a lot of extension to it. You have already noted down the tables or the squares and the cubes and you just need to go through them whenever you find some time. But when it comes to the formula book, since you are currently preparing, and every week while you solve more material, you will get more to add to your formula book. There needs to be some plan as to how you are going to revise it. A lot of people decide to note down formulas while they are preparing, but revise it at the end of their preparation. Instead, the strategy that I followed and what worked for me was to take out time every weekend. Since I had weekday classes, I had my weekends completely free. So I used to revise my entire syllabus every weekend. What that means is that I would not only go through the formulas I would have added in the formula book during that week, but I would also go through the formulas that I would have added before that. So every weekend, I started off with the formula book from point A and went on till the point that I would have noted down the formulas in that week. That helped me revisit the formulas so many times before the CAT exam that by the time I appeared for the exam, the formulas were on my tips. Like I literally remembered on which page I had noted what formula because I had gone through them so many times by then. Apart from that, there was one more occasion when I used to revise the formula book which was before taking the mocks because that is an exercise you are also going to do before taking the final CAT exam. So these are the two occasions when the formula book used to get revised during the weekends and before taking the mocks. So net net, this is what the entire revision strategy is. I told you there's not a lot of rocket science in there, but still if it acts like a wake up call for someone who needs to create a revision plan, I think this video will do the job. Thanks a lot for watching it guys. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to respond to them. Thanks again.